Lovely. So join me on your mat, guys. And I'm just going to put you through 60 seconds, very simply here, of reverse lunges. All right, just to get those hamstrings and quads set up. So when you're ready, I'm going to pop that clock on. And off we go. One minute, just reverse lunges, guys. Keep moving to get those quads, hamstrings ready to work. Lovely, an easy, nice, steady movement. Thirty seconds to go. I think how Jackie and Morgan are. <laughs> <laughs> They're in sync. <clears throat> are you okay, Jenny? Yeah, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Lovely guys, 10 seconds, keep going. Three, two, one. And just keep an eye on me. We're gonna do a couple of pike uh, walks here. So I'm gonna start my feet together, then just do a little split and do two upper body bounces. Take a step forward, one, two, step forward, one, two. When you get to the end of your yoga mat, you can just go backwards with those feet. All right, if you need to bend in your knees slightly, that's fine. The goal is to keep them straight, but if you need to have a slight bend, you can. So another 60 seconds, guys, we'll go straight into that. Lovely. Easing into it, so not too intense to begin with. Very nice. And think of actively pulling your chest down towards your quad. Another 30 seconds here. <clears throat> Lovely. And if you can keep even one of those legs straight, if you can keep that front leg straight, excellent. Maybe you can reach a little bit further now. Very nice guys, and rest. Our next one, I'm gonna bring two feet together. I'm gonna to start down in my tuck position. My heels are off the ground. Two bounces here, one and two. Sending your hips, get those legs nice and straight, and two bounces at the top. So it'll be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna hold the top position for 30 seconds. Off we go. So full knee flexion at the bottom, nice tight tuck. Then send those knees back, squeeze the quads and try to pull your upper body down towards your quads. Lovely. Take your time guys with all these stretching um, classes. Slow and controlled is always better. Lovely. And just hold for me in that top position. So legs are straight. Squeezing your kneecaps, squeezing your quads and actively pulling your chest down towards your legs. Relax here. Let the head and neck hang heavy. If you need to do a slight knee bend, even just to feel how that strain or changes the stretch, that's OK. Ten more seconds. Lovely guys, and relax. So we're gonna do some um, straight leg lifts next. So standing, if you want, so make sure you guys can see me. If you need to stand next to a wall for balance, you can, but I'm gonna take one leg out in front and do 10 controlled leg lifts. I'm losing my balance a little bit, so nice and slow on the way up and on the way down. And once I've done 10, I'm gonna hold my leg in this position for 10 seconds. So really activating that quad. So when you're ready, off you go. 10 controlled leg lifts. Good, you can point your toe and just bring your toe to the ground out in front. 
each time. Lovely. Try to keep your, your leg that's on the floor nice and straight. And just lift it as high as you can, guys, without um, torquing the upper body. Okay, so it doesn't matter how high you get, I'm just looking for a nice straight leg. And then a 10 second hold at the top, feel that quad working. Super, shake it out, Danielle. And you guys can move straight into the opposite side then when you're done. So I'll do this one with you. You need to hold on to something. So one, two, and you can see I'm trying to keep my stable leg nice and straight. My upper body is not moving. Even if you just get to above knee height, that's fine. Control on the way down. And then hold for 10, nine, eight. You might get a little bit of a leg shake here, that's fine. Really nice work, guys. You should definitely feel your quads working there. Brilliant. All right, guys, you can shake it out. Grab a drink of water if you need to. I'm going to show you our first exercise next. And it's going to be a pike fold with a leg lift going towards our back. So if you have something like a chair or any kind of a height just to place your hands on, see there I have my wood blocks. So I'm going to come into a nice pike position here. Take one foot behind me, point my toe. I'm going to lift it as high as I can and pull my chest down as I do so. And go a little bit higher there with the screen. So again, lifting it and actively pulling that chest down at the top. Okay, so we're going to do this for 30 seconds. And then we're going to hold for 30 seconds in this split leg position as well. So I'll let you guys get set up. Don't go just yet. So your hand support guys should be fairly close to your front foot. So you have a nice tight pike position. Lovely foam roll is perfect for this. Kettlebell, dumbbell, all okay. So guys, take your back leg behind you. Just point the toe to the ground and create lots of tension in that back leg. So point your toe, squeeze your quad. All right, nice and controlled. You're gonna lift it as high as you can. And once you get to as high as possible, pull your chest down and see if you can get a little bit higher. I'm gonna pop that clock on. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Off you go. Lovely, so actively pull that chest down and keep lifting that heel and slow, slowly lower it back to the ground. The arms supposed to be straight? It doesn't matter about your arms, Jackie. Just something to help you support and balance. So Jenny, you're going up and down with the leg unless you're frozen there. Jenny Boyce, that is, yeah. Lovely. So actively pull the chest down, guys, so you can get more height in that leg lift. Okay, and we're going to hold that leg up there. Hold it up, pull your chest down. 20 more seconds here. Keep pulling that heel up to the ceiling. Did Drop you your that? chest as much as you can. 10 seconds. Did you feel that on the leg on the ground, Jane? Absolutely. Your supporting leg will be really feeling this. And rest, guys. You can shake it off. And we'll do the same on the other side. So I did say it wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> Lovely, guys. So I'll just give you, as you rest there, one more visual. So get your hands on something as supportive. Point that back leg. Lift it as high as you can. And then really pull that chest down to give yourself a little bit more height. All right, you're going to feel this on your supporting leg hamstring. So the leg that's stationary on the ground, you're really going to feel it in that hamstring. And that leg okay, here we go. Opposite leg, 30 seconds of reps and then 30 second holds. Here we go. Lovely. So this is active 
flexibility. So you're building strength in your end range, which will increase your flexibility overall in time. It's much better than passive. Well, both of them in, in combination are best. Lovely, Anna. Guys, when you get that heel to the top, see if you can pull your chest down and get more height through that heel. Okay, hold the leg up in the air. If you can't even use your support to pull your chest lower, keep lifting that heel, Danielle, Jenny, Anna, pull it up. Really good. Increasing your strength in your end range. Three, two, one, and relax. Super guys. <laughs> Alex is on the floor. All right. So my setup for my next one, I'm going to come into a half split. So from my knees here, I'm going to take one leg out in front. So I want that leg to be nice and straight as well. You can use your supports here if you need them, guys. I'm going to take my supports by my side and I'm going to get as much compression as I can here. So I'm going to fold down towards that front leg and then we're going to do 30 seconds of compression leg lifts here. Now you might only get about one to two inches off the floor. If you find you cannot lift that leg, you can lift your chest a little bit higher, sit your hips back a bit more and you can see there I can lift it a lot higher. Okay, the taller I come up, the easier it is to lift. The more I compress or drop my upper body, the harder it's going to be. So I want you to find that challenging position for you. All I'm looking for is a one to two inch heel lift off the floor. Okay, if you can easily lift your foot like several inches off the floor, that's too easy. So as always guys, I'm gonna let, let you guys get set up. And we'll be doing 30 seconds on each side here. Lovely. Can everyone just practice one or two? Make sure you can get lovely. And remember, when you lift it up on the way down, I want you to go slower than, than lifting your leg. So you're not dropping it back to the floor. So Sonny, that's too easy for you. I want you to lean forward into your stretch a bit more. Now try. There you go. All right, so it should feel difficult. All right, guys, are you ready? Here we go, 30 seconds, off we go. So just looking for one to two inches, lifting that heel, it should feel really strange and quite difficult. Good, Jenny. Nice, Anna. Try to stay in control as you lower the leg back to the floor. Really good, Warren and Jackie. Lovely, Shane. Good stuff, Katie. Very nice, guys. And that is our 30 seconds. So just swap out your legs. Yeah, so you might feel a bit of a quad burn or cramp there, if I can see you grabbing your quads. This really activates them. Okay, in three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds. Lean into it as much as you can. Super, Danielle. Nice, Aoife. Always keep tension in the legs, so point the toes, squeeze the kneecap. Another 10 seconds, feel the burn. If you do cramp, you can stop. But again, this is increasing strength in that end range, guys. It can help you overall with your flexibility. Lovely, and relax. So we're gonna go through those two one more time. Um, this, the first one, I'm gonna change it slightly so that we're just in our uh, pike fold and we're gonna leave the leg lift out this time. Uh, so with whatever kind of a height you have, guys, I'm going to take the ball of my foot up onto that height. My, I have a small split in my legs and I'm just going to fold down into that position. All right, so this is going to bring a really nice hamstring stretch onto that front leg. And we're going to hold here for 30 seconds. 
So I'll let you get set up just like me. I'm also holding on to a support out in front. And you have an option here, guys, if you feel really comfortable, I want you to take as much weight as you can onto that front leg. And you can even point to your back leg so that the majority of weight is on that front leg. That'll increase the stretch. Lovely stuff. All right, guys, so we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and off we go. So the ball of our front foot is up on a height. Compress into your pike position as much as you can, guys. And then if you want, you can take more weight into that front foot. But I'm sure, I'm pretty confident everybody will feel this up the back of their leg and their front leg. Yep. <laughs> Good stuff. Another five seconds, guys. Breathe. Lovely. And switch out that leg for me. Very nice to take the opposite leg in front. And always remember, guys, with this um, kind of work, you don't want to go straight into that stretch so that you're like nearly in pain. So ease into it. And as the 30 seconds go on, as your muscles start to relax and get used to it, then you can push a little bit more. So off we go, guys. 30 seconds is on now. Breathe. We want to be as relaxed as possible, not in that fight or flight mode. That's gonna stop your muscles from relaxing into the stretch. Nice deep breaths. Five more seconds. Lovely guys, and relax. So we're gonna do our um, half split leg lifts again, just like we did before. Coming down into my half split position. Again, get as much compression as you can. And we're gonna do that little lift for 30 seconds. If you need to lift the upper body and that'll make it a bit easier. But find that challenging sweet spot where you can only lift your heel one to two inches off the floor. Lovely guys, clock is on, 30 seconds. Good work, feel those quads. Really good, Sonia, well done, Emer. Very nice, Hannah. 10 seconds, controlling it back to the floor each time. And that's our 30 seconds, change to your other side. And off we go. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. I thought I lost you guys there for a second. <laughs> Green went blank. That's why I was like, oh my God. <laughs> What's going on? Lovely guys. And relax. Um, okay, you shake it out guys. Even if you want to just Give your um, quads a couple of fist bumps just to massage them out. And we're gonna take the focus now back to our hamstring and we're gonna stretch out those quads. So as you guys relax there for a second, I'm gonna show you the setup. It's actually in our half split again. So I'm gonna come uh, bend that front knee and I'm gonna drop my hips forward and down. So I'm in that nice long lunge. From here guys, my back heel I'm gonna pull it towards my butt cheek and back down to the floor. As I get to my end range, I'm gonna pull it as much as I can, really feel the stretch into the quad and hip flexor and back down. So it's gonna be 30 seconds of lifting that heel and you're gonna feel that hamstring getting really worked, okay? After our 30 seconds, guys, I'm gonna hold it here for 10. Okay, and if you do start to cramp, just let that heel come back down. So get yourself set up, guys, into a nice long lunge. Lovely, Eva. And if you have anything to support your hands and upper body, 
make sure your front foot is out in front of your knee guys so i don't want you in this position that foot needs to be out in front so you can really drop those hips through lovely all right guys so 30 seconds i'm lifting my heel to my butt cheek going in three two and one lovely it's quite intense guys as you lift that heel feel the stretch into your uh, hip flexor and quad very nice Ten more seconds, and then we're going to hold that heel up for ten seconds, starting now. So pull that heel up and hold it for ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep pulling it. Six, five. Actively pulling the hamstring. Three, two, one. Lovely, guys. Hold your position. Keep that same leg in front, and we're just going to do a nice little hip rotator here. So with that leg in front, I'm gonna straighten it, pull my toe towards me, and I just wanna turn my toe left and right. And what I'm doing here is internally and externally rotating my hip. So if I show you from a forward position, make sure you guys can see my foot. So it's turning left and right, and you can just feel your hip it internally, externally rotating. So just give me 30 seconds of that, guys, before we go on the other side. Lovely. So try to bring your awareness into that hip and feel it twisting left to right. You can send your hips back a little bit, Jenny, here. So take your hips back over your knee. Lovely, guys, and keeping that leg as straight as possible. Lovely. That's one stretch that should feel kind of nice tonight. It does feel nice. All right, guys. So I'm going to get you to set up with the other leg out in front. So back into that long lunge. Make sure the foot is out in front of the knee. Drop your hips through as much as you can. Get your supports by your side. And then we're going to pull that heel to your butt. Going in three seconds, off we go, 30 seconds. Control it back to the floor. You can feel it wanting to pull your foot down as you lower it. 10 more seconds. Okay, guys, pull that heel up and hold for 10 seconds here. Really actively pull your heel to your butt. You'll feel your hamstring about to burst here. Three, two, one, and relax, lovely. So from here, guys, all I'm gonna do, I'm not moving my knee or my foot, just straighten the front leg, pull your toe back to your shin, and then left to right, it's a nice little stretch in the hamstring and I'm internally, externally rotating that hip. Really nice work. Well done guys, we have one more after this. We save the best to last. Is that frog yolk? Uh, not the frog, Sonia, we're going front splits tonight. So a little bit of a test to see where you all are. And if, if front split guys scares you, like when I say we're working towards our front split, it just means working on your hamstrings. So it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you need to have splits or that you're even after getting your front splits, but whatever, whatever it does, it's gonna help you in all other aspects of positions and fitness in the gym. And then if you do get your front splits, it's an added bonus can be your party stopper. All right, guys, so just relax there for me. This is the one, um, if you have a wooden floor, a cushion works perfectly. If you are on a carpet, 
and um, even a sock something that kind of slides along the floor and um, or I did say a frisbee or maybe even a, a hardcover book or diary that would slip along your carpet so I'm going to show you the setup here guys so I have my cushion here back a little and then my two um, supports and coming into that half split position again from here all I'm going to do is let that um, front foot slide forward I have my two supports here ready I'm going to come as far as I can and from here guys I'm going to try and actively drive my heel into the ground and use my leg to pull myself back to the start position so sliding out and then if I need to, I can use the support, but then I'm going to drive my heel down, pull my leg back to the start position. Sliding out, maybe I go a little bit further this time. And then pull my leg back, trying to use, trying to drive my heel down to drag it up more than my upper body. Okay. So I'll let you guys set up. We're going to go for five reps on each side. Um, and each time you might slide maybe an inch or even a centimeter more than the one before. You had the, you had the, you had the, well, the Somalis, what do you call them? The strong people from the MCC. Uh, who's talking to me there? Is that Paddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got these small kind of old pens together, yeah. Yeah. But that's the first thing you can yeah. You guys hear Yeah, it's whoever's on that CrossFit green one. It's me. Sorry, I was getting something out of the kitchen because I knew you weren't done. It's like your dad. <laughs> so I ran out to the kitchen because I was like, oh, she's still in the middle of stretching. All right, All right. guys. So off you go. Just give me those five uh, stretches. We're nearly done here, guys. I know we have a few more coming in. Lovely. So sliding out as far as you can and then trying to work your heel down into the ground to pull yourself back to your start position. One sec. And then once you've done five on that side, guys, you can move straight onto your other leg for five more. Sonia, are you coaching tonight? Yeah. I didn't know it was stretch, I would have came. I thought it was squad. Uh, it was weird pump and core tonight at five then. Uh, I thought it was run club. I'm all mixed up. Lovely, guys. I'm really liking the positions, Aoife. That's fantastic. Danielle. Super, Sonia. Very nice, Hannah. Really good, guys. And as you pull up, actively drive that leg down and try to drag it back. Nice, Shane. Super, um, Jackie and Warren. That looks great. So hopefully by week before, by week four, guys, we'll be sliding all the way to the floor. Sliding all the way back to green. <laughs> oh, we won't be. <laughs> we'll be doing positivity <laughs> in the door. Let's keep the hot, let's keep the faint. And guys, we are just kind of running out of time, but like if you're, if you're still uh -huh. here and you're not doing the workout, the idea then is that on that last one, you just slide out as far as you can and maybe hang out here for a minute. All right, and just relax into that passive stretch. Just as easy as that. Just yeah. as easy as that. So that's it. That's it. Relax. Relax. Bringing, bringing these two little guys in. Hi, oh. I look oh. at you. <laughs> What's to call them? Uh, this guy is Louie. Hiya, Lou. I think you put cocaine in the splits. <laughs> Say hello. Ah, uh, he's gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. Look, skinny runner. Oh, He's they're gorgeous. Sport. Yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. The yeah. Olympic lifter and the sprinter. Oh. <laughs> what's him? What's he called? This is Ted and Louis. Ah, they're gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, oh, so this is across the green member. Louis. I shall just stop the recording. All right, guys.